Lights, camera, action. Two on the nose, I wanted to make a joke. Was it funny? Hello everybody, Infernape Shin Joe here. Welcome to the last video that I'm planning on making for the time being about anime that I would recommend and today I am talking about action anime. Now I want to specify that just because something is action doesn't mean it's shonen. A majority of the time it is but there are some times that action doesn't necessarily mean a shonen fight scene. Just having fluid animation as well classifies it for being action. At least in my opinion. Although there are a lot of action anime that I could have included and I wanted to specify this right now before I get into the video. I only want to include anime that I have watched entirely. Like for example Naruto or Bleach or anything like that might have good action but I haven't watched them. And anime that I haven't completed it pains me to say this but there is not going to be any Kimetsu no Yaiba or Hunter x Hunter on this video. Kimetsu no Yaiba is halfway through at the moment, it's not finished, and I haven't finished watching Hunter x Hunter yet. I think I have roughly 40 episodes left, I'm still in the Chimera Ant arc, but if you need more action besides the ones I mentioned here, go check out those two. I'm really enjoying Hunter x Hunter and where they're taking it, and Kimetsu no Yaiba, it's just amazing. But let's start this video off with a bit of an interesting take. Little Witch Academia. The first thing that puts Little Witch Academia on a high pedestal, it's done by Studio Trigger. You already know just with that alone, it's going to have good action. And like I said, action doesn't equate to showing in fight scenes. And with this, there is no fighting, more magic, which I think makes it all the more interesting. Especially with magic, there is no real way to show magic in the real world. So they could literally just do whatever they want with all of this magic. They could just go wild with it. And even Akko herself, she has a lot of great expressions and facial reactions to anything. And the scene at the end with her and Diane, that was just amazing. This is definitely a weird choice for action, but I feel like I needed to give it at least a mention. Now on to the one that I'm sure everybody, well most everybody, was expecting to be here. My Hero Academia. Yes, it has to be here. Action is amazing. The fight between Deku and Todoroki in the tournament. The action and animation were off the charts. The show is great. The characters are great. A lot of them get development. Mineta's just Master Roshi. He's kind of there. I don't know. But let's be honest. If you're not watching My Hero Academia at this point, I don't know what you're doing. There's four seasons out right now, so it might be a bit of trouble to catch up. But a lot of people that are interested in My Hero Academia have already watched it at this point. You'd be hard pressed to find somebody that hasn't at least heard of the show. Now I did say about how action doesn't necessarily equal fight scenes, but with this next one, it does equal fight scenes. And that is Kill La Kill. You know, looking at it now, I didn't mean to include two studio trigger anime in this video. But just like Little Witch Academia, Kill La Kill is done by Studio Trigger, who, like I said before, are known for their action and animation. Even funny enough, the main character of Little Witch Academia, Akko, is voiced by Ryoko Matoi in Kill la Kill, the same dub voice actress. And that I just find super hilarious because Akko's just a bubbly, quirky sort of character where Ryuko is super serious. But Kill la Kill is a very good anime. The opening is super catchy, both of the openings are super catchy. The animations and the fights are really eye-grabbing. Even animation done just in off scenes in the classroom or at home are really well animated. Mako in particular is really good at showing very good facial expressions and very hilarious ones, just like Akko. 
The only catch with this show is that the nudity in it might be kind of off-putting for a lot of people because essentially this is fan service but fighting. If you are weirded out by that concept then I would recommend not watching it but it's not something that's really as in your face like Keijo was. But those are my three choices for anime to watch if you're looking for action. And like I said, I am super upset that I wasn't able to include Hunter x Hunter or Kimetsu no Yaiba. But those two are very honorable mentions. But those are my picks. Let me know what you think. Have I convinced you to watch any of them? Have you watched any of them? Have you liked them? Why am I asking you so many questions? I have no idea. I will see you in the next video. Moment high.